There are things and places that are better left for TV screens and movies, hopes that are better left as dreams, and exciting adventures that are better left unexplored. These limiting thoughts are unfortunately what came to mind when I first had my history and theory lecturer trying to convince us about this magical trip to Europe back in 2019. Relentlessly, she would bring it up after every class as people packed their bags to leave. She even decided to make it a group work assignment for people to take it seriously. Because it was the closest thing to not doing actual coursework, I decided to take it up against my group mates' wishes who thought it was a waste of time. But as hypothetical as it was, it slowly started taking shape and gaining traction. However, year after year, something would always come up, hindering its likelihood. First, it was the first wave of COVID, then the second, then the third, then the global inflation that messed up our already stretched budget. In all honesty, the probability of this trip happening was close to none, until one day, it actually did happen. Hey guys, so it's the day of the trip and I'm feeling really good and excited. Um, I'm done packing my bags. I have this one and this carry on. <sighs> and um, this one. So now it's, I think, time to go. I'm pretty happy. I'm also kind of nervous because you know, you never know what to expect, but. I'm more happy than nervous. Um, yeah, this is the OOTD. I was just going for like a cute but comfortable vibe. So I'm wearing this sweater and a crop top, a crop top inside um, with black tights and uncle socks um, and this bag. And my jewelry is from Beauty Galore. I love this red necklaces. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Listen to my story. So, as I was checking into security, you know how they scan the bags. The person in front of me had <laughs> had fish inside the suitcase. <laughs> had fish inside the suitcase. So the guy who is like checking the suitcases is like, "Kona fish up on nani?" And then that guy is like, "Hey, konu you menusa?" Ladies and gentlemen, in preparation for takeoff, may I now remind you to fasten your seat belts. As our plane took off, I experienced a mix of emotions, mostly happiness and disbelief. But I tried to remain in the moment, appreciating everything that I was and about to experience. We had a three hour layover at Addis Ababa and I spent most of my time sketching the sites that I wanted to have a visual reminder of. We finally arrived in Rome at dawn and after freshening up, we had a quick breakfast and started touring.
We went to the tourist station to get our tickets and we watched a short film there about the ancient ruins and monuments in the city. At first I was a bit confused why we were watching a film, yet we could literally walk outside and experience the buildings in person. But the more I watched, the more I realized that it helped us understand how the ruins looked in their original state, which I think was pretty cool. And we're going up this stairs. <laughs> this guy is shouting at us. Anyway, um, we're going up this stairs. But yeah, so far so good. You can see how beautiful it is. There's so many things to see. Such little time. So this is the fountain where you get your free cold water. Like you can even see how cold it is. Oh my god. God bless fountains in Italy. I mean Rome. This is the Roman Forum. Whoa. Whoa, this place is big. Later that day we went to the Colosseum and it is as grand as it looks if not more. The place is pretty big and unfortunately we reached when we were really tired and I think the jet lag was catching up with us and so we weren't able to exploit to its maximum. We also went to the Roman Forum and by the time we were reaching we were so tired, it was so hot and we were so hungry and thirsty so everyone's priority was just to finish and go and eat and rest. However, it was pretty cool to see these places and the scale was unbelievable. What are the odds? 3, 2, 1, 7. seven. Our first Italian dining experience was unfortunately disappointing. The pasta that I ordered was way too salty and the drinks were underwhelming. Fortunately, dinner made up for the not so good lunch. Enoch ordered a folded pizza and tiramisu which we shared because I wasn't too hungry and it was incredibly amazing.
are at Maxi Museum and it really looks so cool. Surprise for me, I'm losing my eyes. Please don't let me fall. There's no falling. Or hit something. Is the camera angle okay? We're getting closer. Where are we going? I'm scared. Look already. What's this? <gasps> oh my god. It's my room cover. I've only seen this model like in photos. Oh my god. Oh my god. I could find a way I will take back everything I wanna change for you 